before we jump into the importance of the different uh, biological macromolecules, let's first take a look and review the idea of carbon and why it's really important. Uh, we know that carbon is super important because it's able to form four stable bonds. And these four stable bonds give us some interesting ideas. Uh, it allows us to create large, complex, and diverse molecules. So those large, complex, and diverse molecules are things like able to bond with other elements, like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and many, many, many other elements. It's able to make lots of different shapes from long lines to um, the rings that we've created in class. And also it can make uh, very long chains or very short chains. So that's what we mean by diverse molecules. So all living things are made of organic molecules, uh, including you. You're made of organic molecules, which are based on carbon. And without that carbon, we would not be able to exist. As we said before, our four major organic compounds or macromolecules are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Uh, we've, you've probably heard of things like um, Cody likes nice people or Clarissa likes nice people. That's a good acronym and a good way to remember carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. So let's first take a look at carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are made of only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, it is the most common that you're going to find. Now this is made of a monomer. As we talked about before, monomer is a building block. This is made of a monomer called a monosaccharide. Now maybe you've heard of carbs before or the idea of carbs, but head to the next slide and check out what carbohydrates really are and what this all means. 